everyone. Oh, this juice confusing here again. Just sharing this. This is what I was going on about. Okay, so the strong cities of Victoria, Australia. The key incentives are community resilience, prevent, prevention of violence. Incentives to promote community. Victoria's population and Population is among the fastest growing and the most multicultural in Australia, forged by successive waves of immigration. Victoria's greatest assets are its open, accepting, and diverse society. By its national comparisons, Victoria is one of the most, world's most successful and cohesive multicultural nations. It is frequently recognised as one of the world's most livable cities. Figures from the 2016 census shows that more than one in four Victorians reported being born overseas. Nearly half, 49% of all Victorians, were either born outside of Australia or at least one parent born outside of Australia. People from all over the world have chosen to make Victoria their home place, bringing with them their experience, their heritage, and their culture. While Victoria enjoys support of formal multiculturalism and relatively strong social cohesion, there continues to be challenges in addressing the right wing, left wing, and I'm not even going to mention that. Vict is not immune to global events and discourses that seek to divide people. In acknowledgement, acknowledging the benefits of diversity and addressing the challenges of maintaining cohesion, Victoria's emphasis on committed shared values, it is clearly articulated expectation that Victorians will commit to values such as freedom, fairness, equality before the law, respect for all, and that community will benefit from strong cohesion and future prosperity as a consequence. Victoria has also developed a strategic framework to strengthen Victoria's social cohesion and resilience for its community communities. Now, watch what happens when I click on this one does not exist. So that's the one I've just made and I will add this. Okay. So it's developed it, this it's to guard its PVE work. The strategic framework is careful to distinguish PVE from the work for enforcement and to avoid the scrutinization of communities or social policy in Victoria. The PVE is overseen by a task force chaired by the Deputy Premier, including the Ministerials for Multicultural Affairs, Youth, Families, Education and Police. The Ministerial Task Force and supported by a central agency with the overall social policy responsibility to ensure the whole of government buy-in and implementation. The conceptual framework has set guiding principles of respect, shared responsibility between government and civil society, co-design, evidence-based decisions, and being concerned with the well-being of all Victorians. These principles have informed form funding decisions and field to facilitate a historic approach to a complex problem. Victoria is a founding member of the SCN Strong Cities Network, so it's a founding member. Australia is a federation of six states and two mainland territories with three tiers of governments comprising a national, state, territory, local. National, state and territory governments work closely together under a national framework approach to prevent counter violence. Stream, PVE and CVE formal cooperation mechanisms include an overarching national community committee, working groups addressing particular PVE and CVE priorities which are able to share the sharing of information, resources and expertise at the same time. Under our federal structure, each local government is able to adopt implement approaches to PVE, CVE to meet the local needs and priorities. The Commonwealth Government of Australia has overreaching overarching portfolio, responsibility for national, social, economic, environment, infrastructure policies, has sole responsibility for foreign policy, defence and immigration, and shares national security responsibilities with states and territories. Australia Counterterrorism Strategy 2015 recognised the critical importance of preventions in chain challenging the to support our efforts in reducing the risk. The Australian Government's CVE program has four strategic priorities. Protect Australians by addressing the factors and conditions of the increased vulnerability to violence within the communities. Challenge these, especially online, increased awareness within its communities and range of frontline officials such as schools, police, health professionals, prison staff to identify support individuals at risk of 
divert Australians at risk of violence through programs that support disengagement at early intervention, rehabilitation and reintegration. As the State of Australia, Victoria has legislated powers over matters that occur within the state, including police, hospitals, education, state and transport. In relation to PVE, CVE, Victoria develops and implements its own policies, structures and approaches to compliance of the national framework, while operating under its own strategic framework to strengthen Victoria's social cohesion and resilience of its communities. Local overview. Melbourne as Victoria's capital city. Melbourne is a fast growing, highly diverse city, home to over four million people. Greater Melbourne is a sprawling city covering thirty one separate multiple fatalities. It has cultural precincts that are home to specific cultural communities, but Greater Melbourne is also characterized by strong diversity with multiple sorry, I can't say it. For example, Greater Nanmong is home to people from hundred and fifty seven different birth countries. With more than half of the residents were born outside of Australia, more than 70% speak a language other than English. Melbourne is one of the most, one of the hundred resilient cities and it has been recognised as one of the world's most livable cities. Consistent with the principles laid out of the strategic framework to strengthen Victoria's social cohesion and resilience of its communities, the Victorian government works hard to rebuild and apply a strong evidence base to mainstream, trusting, respectful relationships with communities and to make innovation use of technology in addressing this challenge under the framework and under the direction of the Ministerial Task Force, a wide suite of complementary PVE activities have been undertaken across several government portfolios. Here's the name of the local political leadership. Okay. So they're telling the cities what to do, you know. So thanks for watching. I'll make this one a short one. I will make um, the next one. I'll make the next one about this because it's been brought up several times in those papers that I've just read. Is the 100 Resilient Cities done by the Rockefeller Foundation. And also after that one, I will share this one. Um, it's one where justifying violence, legitimacy, ideological public support for police use of force, psychology and crime law. So I'll do those two next. Thanks for watching. Bye. Have a good day. Bye.